You know what the most common style question I get is? What boots to wear with these jeans? In this video, I'm gonna answer all of your boot jean questions. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. It is no wonder that this area of boots with jeans and how to style them and how to wear them is so confusing when you think about the number of jean silhouettes there are just at the bottom. You've got skinny, straight, boot cut, flare, crop flare, <laughs> wide leg, and then you throw boots in the mix and you've got ankle boots, calf boots, knee high boots, over the knee boots, all different styles of boots, different shapes around the leg. It's so confusing and overwhelming. I get it, I get it, I get it. I have done two videos about wearing ankle boots with skinny jeans, so if you miss those, we'll put a link to them below and up here so that you can watch them after this video. In this video, I wanna focus more on wearing boots with one of the most of the moment jean trends, which is baggier jeans. There is no one style of baggy jeans per se, it's a whole spectrum. So again, back to our jean silhouettes, it could be anything from tapered but looser fit to to straight, to boot cut, to flare, to crop flare, to wide leg. And then within the baggy family, there's also like barrel cut, straight, you know, it's just different leg silhouettes as well. So I think the best way to go about this is just share some universal truths with those jeans that will make it so simple for you when you're picking out what boots to wear with what jeans. I'm gonna show you some examples. It's gonna make it very simple for you, I promise. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. First up is a tapered jean. This is going to be probably the most complicated. Tapered is like a skinny jean, but a slightly looser fit. So it's the same silhouette that follows the shape of your leg and tapers toward the ankle, but it's just a little bit roomier all the way through. So here's an example. These are my AG ex-boyfriend slim jeans. These are a tapered leg jean. And so with a tapered leg, you want to treat it the same way you would a skinny jean. And you can do various different cuff options. You can cuff your jeans under so that they don't compete with your boot or the height of your booty. You can cuff them over once and do a single cuff. You can do a double cuff. You can do the old 80s peg roll. Whichever is easiest for you, and whichever feels more comfortable for you. Another one that I love is the big, full, long single cuff. That's very easy and chic as well, and it looks very thoughtful and intentional. So you have those options when it comes to your tapered jeans. Now, obviously, if you're not wearing a booty, if you're wearing a pair of flats or a pair of heels, you don't need to do anything to the jeans. It becomes very easy and very uncomplicated. If we're talking about a straight leg jean, that is also following you know, the leg a little bit, but from the knee, it is straight down. It's a little bit different than your taper because you're gonna have a slightly wider bottom to your jean, which makes it a little trickier when it comes to the boot department. What booties do you wear? Most booties that are shorter, so let's say ankle high, or shorter, those are just going to be worn as is. You don't have to do anything to your straight leg jeans. Now, if you're wearing a taller pair of booties, let's say a calf height pair, like this pair by Steve Madden that I have, they're a little higher. So what I might do with a little higher pair is cuff them once, or I can go back to the double cuff, I could go back to the big single cuff, however you wanna cuff them, you can do that. The straight leg though is going to have a little more fabric around the bottom because again, it is a wider opening at the bottom. Now, if you move into a boot cut jean, and here's where things get even simpler and more beautiful and less complicated. Yay for that. You can do just basically any height boot except for knee high or over the knee boot. Where it is is, nothing, no cuff required. The only thing you wanna think about when you're wearing your boot cut jean is the length of your jean as compared to the boot height. So if you have a pair of jeans and you have a pair of heeled booties, think about your jeans being one half to three quarters of an inch off the ground for maximum length with your jeans. This style of jean can also be a little trickier if you are on the petite side and making you look a little bit shorter. And so it is nice to wear a heeled booty that will add some height. But again, thinking about that optimal length for elongating your frame being one half to three quarters of an inch off the ground. That's gonna look the most polished and the most slimming. When you veer into flared leg, you've got the same phenomena as boot cut. If it's anything but knee high or over the knee, you're good. Just wear it as is. If you are wearing crop jeans, same thing. 
just wear it as is. Cropped makes it even easier. You don't have to worry about any kind of conflicting fabric. Now where you might get into trouble with cropped jeans is if your booty itself is wider and then that seems to conflict with the bottom of the jeans. Some, some booties have a wider opening. So here's an example of a booty with a wider opening. So it's possible that this could compete with the crop jean if it doesn't sort of naturally flow over it or if this doesn't give you any breathing room between your crop and your booty. But even still, you're probably okay. Same is true with cropped and flare jean. You're just gonna wear the booty as is unless it's a taller boot like a knee high or an over the knee boot because that will create bulk underneath your jeans and you don't really wanna create bulk underneath your jeans. And also your jeans will not fall properly if you have a bulky pair of boots underneath them. But here's where you can see the difference in the opening of the boots. So, you know, going back to the different styles of boots. So this would be more of a sock booty. You see how it has actually a sock top and it's very fitted to the leg. Whereas this one is more of a cowboy boot style and it's a lot more open. By the way, a flare and a crop flare jean, what that means is that it's fitted through the knee and then it flares out toward the bottom. So we go back over those tapered, follows the leg all the way down, but looser than the skinny jean. Straight from the knee down is straight. Boot cut, fitted at the knee, slight flare at the bottom. Flare, crop flare, fitted at the knee, wider flare at the bottom. And then wide leg is where it's looser through the whole leg and kind of comes out in an A-line shape. I would say of all the jean silhouettes I've seen here in Spain, the wide leg jean is the most prevalent and the most popular. And honestly, I think it looks the most chic and elegant. Let me give you an example. Like here is a pair of wide leg jeans. These are from Mango, but I wanna show you the leg itself. It's loose all the way through the leg. It's almost like a trouser, but it's jeans. Anyway, with this style of jeans with the wider leg, you do have the same array of choices. You can go with the shorter ankle booty. You could go with a calf high booty, but again, just watching out for that bulk. You don't want to create the bulk under the jeans. So as long as the boots or the booties don't create the bulk under the jeans, you are good. Another pair of wide leg jeans that I really love that I've showed here a lot and on Instagram are these by Mother. And I can show you the leg again. You see, it looks like a big giant A. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. If you're wearing a tapered jean, which again is like a skinny jean fitted all the way through the leg, but slightly looser. You can do various cuffs. You can cuff under, you can do a single cuff, you can do a big long single cuff, you could do a double cuff, or you could do the peg roll. If you're doing a straight leg jean, you have all of your same cuff options, or you can just play around with keeping them as is. It depends on the shaft opening of the booty. For something that's, if you have more of a slim straight, you may need a sock booty that will effortlessly fall underneath the booty or just an ankle high booty, which will make it very simple. So it depends a lot on the, again, the opening of that shaft versus the opening of your jeans. So you want it to really fit and flow effortlessly under the jean without creating any extra bulk. If you go the boot cut route, just leave it as is in almost all cases and avoid a taller boot that will add that bulk. Same with crop flare and flare. Wear them as is, avoid the taller boots that will add the bulk underneath the jean. And the same is true for the wide leg jean where any style of boot or booty as is, just be careful that you don't create extra bulk. It's much simpler to wear a jean that is not, not a skinny jean and pair them with ankle boots or different style and height of boots and booties than it is to wear the skinny jean. The skinny jean is actually more complicated than a straight, a boot cut, a baggy, a flare, a crop flare, a wide leg, etc. I would say when in doubt with any other alternative style of jean that's looser than the skinny jean, just leave them alone. Couple other things I wanted to mention. If you want to see more ways to style baggier jeans, I did a whole video about this trend and about how we're veering away from super skin tight skinny jeans to alternative leg silhouettes, okay? And if you wanna know just how to wear them more effortlessly and not worry about it, I did a video about that sharing some styling tips. 
I highly recommend that if you are feeling edgy about the whole baggy jean thing, that you start with something tapered. It feels and looks almost like the skinny jean, but it gives you a little more forgiveness throughout the leg. That is a really, really wonderful place to start. And then also, if you are still wearing your skinny jeans and you wanna know how do I wear them with my ankle boots, go back and watch that video that we did before, which shows you all of the different ways that you can style them and make them very simple. Skinny jeans, by the way, are also wonderful for your taller boots. When you really wanna show off a pair of knee high or over the knee boots, skinny jeans are the perfect way to do that. So it's not as if we're casting these off into some far away style wasteland, okay? We still need our skinny jeans, especially for these taller boots, knee high, over the knee. Although over the knee, not as prevalent these days, but your knee high boots for sure, you need those skinny jeans for them. So I hope that answers all of your questions regarding jeans and boots and how to wear them together. But if not, leave your question below. We are happy to answer it. We're here to help you. I hope we answered all of your questions when it comes to boots and jeans and jean silhouettes and jean types and boot types and what to wear with what and wow, how, ah, I hope we answered it. If we didn't though, put your question below in the comments and we will be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Maybe you could share my channel over on your Facebook page. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. You are awesome. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.